All right, how about this one? Uh, we've got collar A is a fixed collar, right? This T right here, this is fixed. There's no pin right there. Collar is a fixed collar. Uh, backup button is not working. Uh, is a fixed collar. Uh, it can it's free to slide vertically along the vertical shaft, but but not horizontally. Um, draw the free body diagram for the bar. Calculate the reaction forces and interaction moments at collar A and roller support B. So uh, maybe I want to redraw this for the free body diagram. Uh, so what do I have right here? It's free to go up and down, but not left and right. So I've got like an A X, uh, but that could come out negative, right? Um, and I have an M A. I have a reaction moment because a fixed collar restricts the rotation. So there's a reaction moment right there. I've got 900 newtons right here. I've got 500 newton meter moment. I've got a roller, which would only have like a BY, right? Perpendicular to the ground, perpendicular to the incline. All right, so those are my only forces. Let me, if I want to make it self-sufficient, let me draw the dimensions, 1.5, 1.51 at a 45 degree angle right here, which is also a 45 degree angle down there. Okay, and let me draw some axes. I think it makes sense to use my usual standard x, y, horizontal and vertical axes. So let's uh, sum of the forces in the x direction. I've got ax. That's it. There are no other forces in the x direction. That's fine. Uh, ax is equal to zero. So, so I could have a force in the horizontal direction, but in this setup, I don't have one. That's, that's fine. It really just means that that beam, it's not pulling left or right. It's just kind of staying right there. So it's okay if your forces come out to be zero sometimes. Uh, let, whoops, sorry. let me sum the forces in the y direction. Some of the forces in the y direction. I've got negative 900, positive by. Now be careful because here's what I see a lot of times. If, if you forget to write equals zero, so that's it. Those are the only forces in the y direction. Some people would say, oh, well, by is equal to negative 900. No, 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 no. It's equal to zero. Add that by is equal to positive 900. All right, so that's why I would always um, write equals zero, and, and then here is an equation that you are solving, right? Here is an equation that you are solving. So B by is equal to zero. So now I'm ready to sum the moments. Uh, I want to sum the moments about A. I've got MA, so this what is positive counterclockwise. I've got MA. AX goes straight through it. Uh, 900 is acting 1.5 away, creating a negative moment. Uh, and then I also have that negative 500, right? Uh, I would have that whether I was some of the moments about A, B, C, wherever, I'd have a negative 500. Now notice that I'm, I'm not saying 500 times 1.5. The 500 is already the moment. It's not a force that you need to multiply times its moment arm. It is a moment. It's a free vector. It doesn't matter that it was 1.5 away. Don't multiply this 500 times 1.5. It's just 500. If I was keeping up with my units, it would probably uh, help me out, right? Because this is newtons. This is meters. This is already newton meters. I, I, I don't need to multiply it times 1.5 meters. It's already a moment. Okay. Then I've got by which is 900, let's go ahead and, and plug in. By is 900 right there, and its moment arm would be this distance right here, 1.5 plus 1.5, so three and one cosine 45. This would be a positive, a counterclockwise, right? If A was my pivot point, I'm summing the moments about my pivot point, what type of rotation would that force want to create about a a counterclockwise and I'm, I'm saying counterclockwise is positive set that equal to zero and I would get ma negative 1486 newton meters so this is what I want you to do ma 
is 1486 Newton meters. Box that in and come back up here and show me uh, it's actually going that way. It's going clockwise. Now, I prefer you not to erase what you guessed first completely. Don't erase it completely. Draw a squiggly line. Show me that you had guessed the wrong direction so that so that when I'm going through your work, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, oh, that makes sense that he put, he guessed it in the counterclockwise direction it came out negative so it's actually positive it's actually in the clockwise direction so there we go there's your answer ax is equal to zero by is positive 900 drawn that way and ma is positive 1486 drawn that way now one time i had a student ask um so he said so is there a moment at a or is the moment equal to zero at a you know and so that, that was an interesting thought, an interesting question. The sum of all of the moments at A is equal to zero, okay? But there is a reaction moment at A of the rod on the beam, right? There's a reaction moment at A of 1486 in order for the total moment at A to be zero, so, however you want to think about that, the total of all the moments at A is equal to zero. There is a reaction moment at A from the rod on the beam that that counteracts, you know, that sums the rest of them equal to zero. All right? And we knew that there was a moment at A because we knew that a fixed collar with no pin in the middle of that uh, restricts the, the rotation, so there is a moment at A.